way shitter than I thought it was gonna be. It's basically like one foot and on shore. This spot that's normally like pretty exposed is basically flat. The swell's actually pretty big today, but I don't know if it's just the angle. Really don't understand this place sometimes. I haven't spent enough time here to know like the exact angles of the swell. As always, trying to chase waves unsuccessfully sometimes, but it's part of the game. I've had pretty good waves the last few days, so can't be too upset. Sun's out in a beautiful place. So yeah, hopefully you find something. So basically the waves were terrible. Right back into town and yeah, maybe go for a surf at Rocky Point. So Rocky Point is like the, the main wave in town here. Yeah, it's like pretty popular with like beginner intermediates, um, but it can actually be quite fun as well. Like it's gonna be onshore today and probably not that big, but um, it's kind of like a pretty reliable surf. Um, like an easy one in town. That said, the reef is like the most savage thing ever. It, it's ridiculous. I, like, I've surfed some like fairly sharp reefs like in my time, but yeah, this one like to walk over, especially at low tide, is like something else. So I'm gonna show you guys what it's like. I reckon it's one of like the sharpest reefs in the world. Just got a glimpse of the waves then. I think we could be on. When I say on, I mean two to three foot on shore, sort of on. Okay, so the waves are basically flat, which I really don't understand because it's the swell's so big, but it must just be the angle, like missing all the spots. I really don't get it. This is Rocky Point, it's like the main wave in town, I guess, here. It's normally fairly reliable depending on the swell angle it's high tide right now so the water's coming all the way over most of the reef but if you surf this at low tide you basically have like 200 meters of this and it's just like the shittest stuff to walk on in the world waves are so so bad but i'm gonna go out because i'm committed to showing you guys what surf trips are actually like sometimes this the task at hand getting across all that reef to surf half a foot close out white water all right here goes so it always starts off nice and easy gradually gets more savage as you go along to like pick the flat parts of the rock this is something people don't tell you about surfing how to walk across sharp reefs without reef boots you don't want to look like a kook. But I'll regret saying that in a minute. Ah. Well, I still got a fair bit to go. And it's kind of worse once you get like into knee depth and you can't really see that well. You don't know where your feet are going. Even now, like these bits are so savage. Ah, fuck trying to focus on where I'm walking. I don't even want to look at the waves because it's that bad. All these like tiny little <laughs> knobbly bits that are just horrible underfoot. <clears throat> ah, nearly fell over. So this spot is actually like the beginner, like intermediate spot, which the wave's not actually that gnarly, but the reef. But I can't believe how many beginner lessons happen out here with this like directly underneath. <clears throat> you have to be careful of your leg rope, otherwise it gets snagged on all the reef heads. That's by far the worst bit when you're like knee depth and um, you just, you got waves coming towards you when it's bigger than this and low tide as well. It's just horrible, like you gotta, you gotta try and balance on the sharpest rocks and jump over waves at the same time. I've never owned a pair of reef boots, but if you don't mind looking like a kook, I'd, yeah, I'd probably do that rather than go through the pain out here. Or you can do what I sometimes do is actually paddle around the side of the reef which is about five times as long, but you don't cut your feet, so that's pretty cool. 
It's pretty much unsurfable, especially on a short wood, but uh, we'll see how it goes. a flat bit. Oh no. Wow. So I think I got out of the worst of it, like the bit in the water. Yours. All right, we did it we went out the waves were terrible but yeah it was slightly better than i thought i actually got going on a couple of waves so yeah nice way to start the day and showed you guys a bit of what that reef is like so if you're coming to Fuerteventura, the wave itself is really mellow but just yeah no the reef to walk on is horrible <laughs> it's probably one of the worst reefs on the island and yeah super sharp so i definitely rate if you don't mind looking like a bit of a kook wear reef boots if not you just have to deal with the pain or you can kind of there's like a little beach at the side and sometimes if i'm not feeling the walk i just jump in there and paddle all the way around um so yeah gonna finish this video here i'm actually just getting organized and tomorrow gonna be getting packed to head to israel it's gonna be my first time in the middle east um so yeah, pretty excited, a little bit nervous as always. Um, but yeah, can't wait to take you along for the journey. I hope you've enjoyed following me around Fuerteventura so far. Um, I love this island. Um, I'll definitely be back. So please like and subscribe if you've enjoyed it and I'll see you in the next one.